but I worked legs three days ago. It's a nightmare for me to sit on the toilet. Why? Have no fear. Today, that's the question we're gonna answer in this video. Three, yeah, yeah. two, one, go. What's going on guys, Urban Felix John here, back again with another episode of Brain Games. Now, if it's your first time here, welcome to the Fitness Journals LLC. Make sure you check out the other videos on my channel, I don't want to take too much time to promote because you guys are going to see the value in this video and want to subscribe anyway. So let's get right into it. It's Monday evening. Three hours ago you lifted a total of 6,750 pounds in volume for your leg day. Now, your legs are stiff, but they're not sore yet. At this point, you're walking like a newborn watermelon. Doms! So you see that word pop up really quickly. At first glance, you'll think it said dumbass. That's what your legs are telling you when you're fighting to sit on the toilet bowl. So what is doms? I'm sure if you just type that in anywhere, Instagram, YouTube, Google, wherever, you'll see that it brings up delayed onset muscle soreness. Now what is that exactly? Look, it's pretty self-explanatory, but let's review. Assuming you've skipped leg day for a while and you finally got confronted about it and decided to do them, that stiffness that you feel, that tightness in your legs, that soreness, that stoms. So real quick, let's note that eccentric training, the negative portion of the exercise, that is the best way to bring about doms if you're like sick like me and like that feeling. Now for a beginner, I definitely would not recommend um, negative training because it does cause a lot of muscle damage. And if you're new to this, it takes a lot more time to recover than someone who's more experienced, more seasoned. So just off the bat, if you're fresh, new to working out, I would not recommend doing eccentric training, negative training, um, especially if you're under a lot of load. So if you're with your body weight, we're doing calisthenics here. Uh, take your chances, but still, take it very easy with the negative training. It causes a lot of muscle damage. But once again, once you get to that level when you're progressing, because we do progressive overload, that's how we train, progressive overload. Once you're doing that, definitely negative training, major key for serious strength gains. You wanna get strong like a bull, negative training, eccentric training. Let's get back to DOMS now. DOMS is an acute result of a training bout. Usually within 24 hours to 48, sometimes even 72 or longer. In cases like me, I go, you know, sometimes two months without doing something crazy. Then I decide, hey, I'm gonna come back into the gym and start freaking going crazy. Go in the park and try and do, you know, muscle ups with a crazy amount of weight and end up demolishing myself probably a few reps or pulls short of an injury. Um, and then that's when you really experience that full effect where it might even take a week. But anyway, back to that, um, 24 to 48, 72 hours, that is when you'll start to feel the effect of DOMS. So initially, before uh, it was believed that lactic acid was the cause of this muscle soreness, but we know that lactic acid, now that we know, you know, we've done research and we know that lactic acid is cleared from the muscle, you know, moments, minutes after the workout, we know that it's not uh, due to lactic acid. So once again, if you're a newbie, sometimes the pain can lead people to believe that they've actually experienced a serious injury. In my case, I mean, I'm not a newbie, but I work out so crazy sometimes, I do often, more often than not, injure myself. But no need to worry, more often than not, for most people, it's caused by exercise-induced muscle damage, AKA, it's the first stage of the hypotrophy process. So by the time you go to sleep at night and wake up in the morning, that pain and stiffness would have probably increased by 20 to 40%. You're gonna feel it, and you're not off the hook yet. Throughout the day, the pain, the stiffness, the soreness, everything will increase. Um, you'll know because it's gonna be harder to walk when you touch your leg or wherever the, the area that's damaged that you worked out, it is damaged because once again, it's muscle, it's exercise induced muscle damage. So you're purposely injuring yourself, micro trauma. So yeah, by the time, I mean, you're gonna know because you're gonna touch it and you'll be like, oh my God, this hurts so bad. That's how you know for sure that you're experiencing DOMS. When the muscle is not contracted, the pain is somewhat bearable but once stretched, contracted, or put under any type of pressure, you'll rethink ever working out again. 
Now I wouldn't suggest stopping because you know every time you stop and start again you're gonna experience that same pain over and over again. But when you continue, your body gets used to it, it adapts and you shouldn't have any major concern. Moving on now. Now once again, what is the exact cause of this? What causes that pain and discomfort? Now the most obvious, like I stated before, would be micro trauma. You're, you're purposely causing uh, muscle damage breaking and rebuilding, hypotrophy, that's what it is. Other cases state that cellular respiration is repressed and ATP is slowed down. And then we know that, can't. We know that ATP is needed to transport calcium to the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And the sarcoplasmic reticulum, big word there, um, if you don't know what it is, Google, or I can make a brain gains on that. But the sarcoplasmic reticulum is a specialized complex used to store calcium ions. I think I'm gonna have to do uh, brain gains on that. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so now that we have an uh, understanding of what DOMS is, how do you avoid it? Now, if you're like sick like me, Quite frankly, I like to feel the pain. It's probably why lately I've been pretty lazy. You know, now I, my body got used to the pain and I feel like I miss the pain. Yeah. But anyway, if you're normal and you don't want to feel this pain on a regular basis, I'm going to show you exactly um, the steps that you should take to suppress it a little bit. So progressive overload. Take your time and progressively add resistance and volume to your routines. Exactly what it sounds like, progressively. Bit by bit, little by little. You don't want to do too much too fast. If you've been away for a while, or if you're new, brand new, you just come in and you started working out, it's in your best interest to take it slow. And I'm not talking about doing eccentric training. I'm talking about progress into it slow. No rush. There's no need to rush and be like, oh, I've been doing this today, tomorrow I'm going to increase. No, it doesn't make sense. Your body knows how to adapt. That's what our bodies do. They adapt to different situations, different environments, and it will use something called the repeated bout effect. Look it up once again, and or I could just do a brain gains on this. You see, like, Every brain gains, there's more questions that need to be answered. But this is good. But it's something called the repeated bout effect, and um, it will ensure that your muscles adapt uh, to these exercises, to these strains, to these pressures uh, when you do it again. So it's not going to be every time you do that, you're like, I'm. This is why a lot of people start wor stop working out because they feel that pain and they're like, I don't want to feel this pain anymore. I'm going to stop working out. This is so uncomfortable. And if you know that's you, like, it's a mental thing too. If you're like, uh, I don't like to feel pain, and that's what discourages you from working working out then take it easy you know when you stop you're making you're not making it easier for yourself I said this earlier but that's important to know that get past that initial thres threshold of your pain like get past that continue doing it and then you'll be happy you did because those pains that you felt from doing that resistance or volume before you won't feel it anymore because your body would have adapted and it's something that's normal for you now now do keep in mind, um, this is probably for another video, I've talked about injuries like in a video like months ago, it's got like 100 views on it, but if I will link it here, you guys can look at that video. But if you feel a sharp pain during your exercise, it is not DOMS. Don't, so don't think, oh, I watched that video, Irvin said, you know, the pain is normal. No, if you feel a sharp pain during your exercise, it's not DOMS and chances are you're Wait, why, why did you beep that? I'm I mean, I said you're injured. That's not a well, quite frankly, I don't like the word either. But injured, you're most likely injured, and that's what you would call a sudden onset injury. So, you know, don't get it mistaken. You know, do your due diligence. Uh, common sense would tell you, damn, if you get a sharp pain in your chest and you're doing weighted dips and you feel something tear right here, it's not DOMS. So, just keep that in mind. So, you know, um, listen to the biofeedback of your body. And that's it. I don't want to make the video too long. I feel like it's already it's already gone um, gone too long. So guys, please stay tuned for future brain games posts. If you guys ever have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. My battery's about to die. I don't want it to die while I'm speaking. Oh, gosh, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna have to shoot this again. Um, so guys, like, share, subscribe, and definitely, please, guys leave your feedback on this brain games post in the comment section below let me know if it was helpful please another way by letting of letting me know it was helpful is you just click that button and click that button thumbs up that's how we know so like i said you're gonna find value on my channel i know that for a fact so definitely go hit that subscribe button or just go browse around and look at the videos that i've have i have up there already i feel like that's this last part has made up half of the video anyway guys i'm out thanks for watching brain games